friends hey family welcome back to another video thanks so much for stopping in taking time to like comment and subscribe and become a part of the family we greatly appreciate each and every one of you blessings and peace unto you thanks for watching so what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel i'm michelle the startup ceo we are doing a foodie run in the magnificent hot Atlanta, city of atlanta we are visiting some great restaurants that um we've never eaten at before different styles different vibrations even a fast food joint okay so i hope you enjoy this video sit back relax and savor the wonderful delicious food True Food was our first stop when we hit the ATL. Got in kind of late and they were still open so we decided to make it light tonight. True Food Kitchen is the only restaurant fundamentally based on science which ensures all of the craveable dishes and drinks work to increase the longevity of the people and the planet. Our drink was delicious, our salad was delicious, those green salads were scrumptious might I add. The dressing was a little tangy, lemony, orange flavored with the Parmesan cheese, the croutons, and that crispy green lettuce. My salmon was on point with the vegetables. I couldn't go wrong. My husband had sweet potato mixture with some type of chicken sandwich and he enjoyed it as well. You know we couldn't leave up out of here without getting some dessert and this chocolate cake with a little coconut ice cream mmm super delicious that was pretty good I feel clean light and healthy especially eating at 10 o'clock at night on a scale of 1 to 10 I would give true food a 10 because I love healthy light food that I don't feel heavy when I leave our next stop was the infamous the real milk and honey now I've heard so much about this restaurant and I've always wanted to try it every time I've come to Atlanta it's always super crowded this time I decided to wait so that I can get my food unfortunately it was really crowded in the restaurant so we didn't wait, but we got it to go. So the wait to go in milk and honey was about two hours. And sister girl, we just weren't feeling it. Too much going on, too many things to do. I did get the shrimp and grits with some turkey sausage, with like some cherry tomatoes in there, um, Creole sauce. I hope this is good and does not upset my stomach. <laughs> but um, my yeah. husband got a blueberry waffle. Hopefully it's good. He got some chicken sausage and an egg. All of this together was about $38. After we got our food, we stopped at the Fresh Earth Herb and Tea Bar. And I must tell you, I was quite pleased with the vibe that was going on up in here. The tea that I got was so delicious. It was like a little tangerine, uh, some type of health component with it give you vibrations of energy which i need <laughs> i'm always needing some energy but the tea was good they had a little sweetener in it which made it not too sweet not too tart but just right while waiting for my tea i made a couple of acquaintances we were just shooting the breeze drinking tea Welcome to the Louisiana Bistro. We had a taste for some down south Nolens type of food. Walking into the restaurant, the vibe was high. Everybody was enjoying themselves, eating great food. We smelled the taste of the food coming into the restaurant. 
of course we had to get our drinks i had some type of martini my husband had something much stronger than i did got some green beans fried they were super delicious and my husband had his oysters and we always get an appetizer just to start off the entree that caesar salad was crisp and fresh and delicious and we got our food and my husband got his coleslaw with his catfish and he was a happy camper i had to go all and out and get me some lamb chops i love lamb chops especially when they are cooked to perfection and this was cooked to perfection oh yum the food was delicious the vibe was great the music was good we're just in our own little vibe ourselves what did you think, babe? Uh -huh. oh that was great Beyond great, delicious. It was, it was really, yeah. really mouth watering. What was going on? The marshmallow man. The marshmallow man? Babe, that is not nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we're out enjoying the foodie life in the ATL. And we've had some great food combinations since we've been here. Uh, we're gonna have to go run some tracks. We did go walk in the mall today, but um, yeah, we're gonna have to do something else because that's all we've been doing is eating, living, and enjoying life. Alrighty. Dessert to go, New Orleans bread pudding. And it was delicious. Another one of our faves, South City Kitchen in Buckhead. The vibe here, when I tell you, high sedity, bougie style, great down to earth cooking, this was it. I had to start my day off with my breakfast drink of choice. This egg souffle with some type of cream, I don't know what type of cream it was, fried tomatoes in a homemade sauce. Ooh wee! My husband had his favorite pancakes, uh, eggs, coffee, and then I had my breakfast brunch drink. <laughs> but I really love this place. I would definitely make sure I come back here again next time we're in town. On a scale of one to ten, this place gets a high ten plus. It was delicious. I loved everything about it. Now on to the cookout. Mm, they have 40 types of shakes. That's what I said. Uh, no. <laughs> put them on wax. The cookout. Welcome to the cookout. This reminds me of what's that movie that was on TV where they had the cookout? The cookout. The cookout. Oh, okay. <laughs> All righty. Cheese one for ginger, cheese one for cheese. Like a double cheese. You want the tray or just the burger? The um the combo. Alright, what's on the burger besides cheese? Uh heavy onion. You no know, pickle mayo. All, all the stuff you put on. To extra onions, pickles, and mayo? Yeah. Um, and the Cajun fries with that. Drink. Just water. Tortilla wrap with the strip cheese, tomatoes, and whatever sauce. We got honey mustard, ranch, Cajun, Cajun ranch, which you can get Ah, uh, okay, that sounds small. So I'm, I'm gonna just do the, uh, the Cajun style uh, chicken breast sandwich then. Yeah, Cajun fries and what else? The Cajun style chicken breast sandwich. And no mayonnaise. And on the first one, I don't want tomato on there either. And the cheesecake shake in a water. This is chicken cheese and sandwich, right? Right. Everybody food's eye. I just had an extra, um, I had an extra plate. I had an extra burger. He ate an extra burger. He ate an extra fries. John, why you eating up everybody food? <laughs> and he's trying to, these are athletes and he eats ready for his next his level, trial. his trial for, um, like oh yeah, I got you, uh-huh, yeah, my baby right there, yeah, my baby right there, <laughs> uh-oh, yeah, my baby right there, yeah, my baby right there, 
got chicken strips, fries. They literally have cookout special sauce. We got a burger over there. Is that a burger? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A burger. What y'all have? High taste. It's delicious. It's delicious. All right. This one over there tried to order three, two sandwiches. They like to eat. And then I have my Wendy's tea. This tea is the bomb.com. What's the name of this tea by? Sweet tea. It's not sweet tea, it's peach. Sweet tea with peach mango sauce. Sweet tea with peach mango sauce. Thanks for hanging out in the ATL with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Blessings and peace.